Aloha, friends. It's game time with the Goss, powered by Great Wolf Promotions. I'm your host, Brian Goss of GM Sports Media. Uh, today's episode, my guest is uh, Joseph Turner, head football coach at Fort Worth Southwest. Uh, coach Turner, uh, thanks for joining the show. Thank you for having me, as always, Brian. Um, so previously with uh, the Northside Steers, uh, nine years as head coach, 11 years overall with the program, um, and then just recently – uh, became the head coach at uh, Southwest. Um, just take me through how that kind of uh, came about. Well, Southwest High School has had some turnover in the last seven or eight years. Um, and there was some some things that I discussed with my athletic directors as well as principals here, uh, Principal Engel. And we all sat down and talked about whether or not it'd be a good possibility or whether it'd be a good look for the district or, or whether or not I would be able to come over here and help the program. And they asked how I felt about it. And of course I applied and went through the interview process like everyone else did. And, and in the end, it ended up working out. Uh, and I'm here now at Southwest High School. Yeah. Uh, previous coach, uh, Philip Tanner went to Burleson. Um Just take me through your time with, with Northside, you know, 11 years is a long time with, with one program. Just, um, I'm sure you're going to miss the steers very much. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, you know, my first year I was, uh, the defensive, not defensive coordinator, secondary guy, I coach safeties. And then the second year I transitioned over to the offensive side of the ball was the offensive coordinator. And then of course my third year, Prince Martinez trusted me to lead the program and I was promoted to head coach and, and boys coordinator. Did some really good things, built some really good relationships and relationships that will forever last. Um, I will always miss Northside. It was a great community, great school, great student athletes, great staff to work with. Everything was tremendous. Uh, I, I will miss Northside. Yeah, and you got you really, you know, kind of changed that program, um, you know, 2019, 2020, going to the playoffs. You know, it's been like four decades Um since Northside had made the playoffs previously, but uh, I remember you had a couple of three and all starts. You, you did a lot of great things at Northside. Just does anything stand out as like the most memorable? Well, going to the playoffs, securing that in 2019, and then actually in 2020, man, we were off to a great start. You know, we started off at five and zero uh, that year, beat some really good teams, and I had a lot of seniors that were coming back and we were looking forward to that playoff game, but we got shut down due to COVID. So we missed the last game of the season, actually, which was going to be against Southwest High School, who at the time had the same record as us. I believe they were 7-1 and one and were really good. And then we missed that game and then we missed the playoffs. Uh, we would have played against Wichita Falls Ryder. Um, we had a lot of things shut down, but my time in Northside was special all 11 years, but that playoff run in 2019, that really set the mark. Um, so Southwest, um, you were hired last month or two months ago. Uh, my official first day was May 22nd. So it's been about three weeks today. And so, you know, just kind of take me through that, that first day on campus. And I'm sure you're meeting with the football program and, you know, coaches. I mean, what was that like? Well, we had to wait on talent management for, you know, for everything to go through, of course. Um, I had the last meeting at Northside High School at 11.45. I took five to ten minutes to address the boys, address the coaches, let them know what was going on, told them I was proud of them, to always remember the things that I've been trying to teach them, as well as the coaching staff. Um, then immediately after, you know, I shot across town because I officially started here at Southwest High School at 1 p.m. on that Monday. And the first thing I did was I met with Principal England and I met with uh, a few of the football players and we got some things ironed out. I mean, you know, it, it's been a familiar face with me stepping in, but the immediate reaction was, oh, my God, we got the head coach from Northside High School. You know, who, we've basically been cross town rivals for some time, but I had to let those guys know, you know, their rival was there because that's what it was built up to be. Um but once I'm around the kids, once they learn me and everything, man, you know, I got them, Brian. I got some really good boys over here. But we met at one, um, and then I called an immediate uh, team meeting at the end of the day and met with some guys and then turned around and had another meeting on Tuesday. And pretty much pretty much Monday through Thursday before school was out, it was meetings, 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 trying to get in front of people, meeting with uh, Principal Johnson down at Wedgwood, getting athletic periods taken care of. 
and then went right into hiring right away, locating those positions that we needed to hire and, and started pulling guys in. So the football staff is complete now. And it's been, you know, it was two and a half weeks worth of work, but moved pretty fast. Yeah, so now we're coming up on uh, two months. Just, you know, you're at the end of the school year, which is probably a little difficult, but um, have you had time to, you know, doing workouts or practices? Absolutely. Uh, the summer strength conditioning schedule was set. I mean, I, I set the, I set that stuff in January, you know, uh, early February. So it's it's just changing locations. Nothing changed. We started the Tuesday after school was out, and we had our groups. We got player contact forms. We know who's in summer school. We know who's taking star tutorials. So we know exactly where everybody is at all times, and we're just trying to work as hard as we can. We're starting week three of summer strength conditioning right now. You know, what we like to do is – we like to provide uh, our boys, our student athletes and coaches with a lot of stability and structure. So we have 10 weeks of summer strength conditioning. We utilize every week, but we also go Monday through Thursday and we have, you know, Fridays will be optional. Of course, we got some holidays that we take off, but we tell the boys, it's like, hey, if there is a day that you want to come up here on a Friday, technically it's not mandatory. But if you want to come get some work in, we're going to have coaches here that's going to provide that. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to provide the boys with every opportunity to work out so they can get ready for the season. That's why we start the week after school is out and we don't stop and, until fall ball comes, man. Football is 24-7-365. We never stop. Talking with uh, Joseph Turner, head football coach, Fort Worth Southwest. Um, so, yeah, the season's going to be here real quick, you know, two more months. Um just kind of what have you seen so far from from your guys and uh, talk about the upcoming season? Guys that want to be pushed as hard as they can possibly be pushed. We have a lot of talent. We have a lot of really good student athletes. We got a lot of smart players. Um, those guys, they work hard. You know, I'm trying to get them used to and transition to the way that I like to do things with a little more sense of urgency and utilize every second of the day. Uh, so we'll have our workouts and then we'll go out and we'll do some skills work. Um, summer school and star training right now is kind of hindering us a little bit because we do have guys that are having to take care of some academic issues. Well, not issues, just little concerns or whatever else may be. And then we'll be full steam ahead with everybody in July. But the the foundation and the basis will already be there. So once they step out there, just step right onto the field. and We're ready to rock and roll. I know Southwest has always had a, a competitive football program. Um, slight change these next two years, dropping down to 4A uh, with some other Fort Worth schools as well as Springtown, Decatur. Uh, what do you make of it, this new district? You know, I don't know, to be honest. You know, I've been 5A for so long. Uh, stepping down, I got to get used to I got to see how, you know, they like to play the games. Usually when you hear that teams go down to 4A, 3A, they really like to run the ball a lot and control the clock as much. We'll see. I'm aware of some of the teams that we're playing, but I really have to sit down and look at a lot of them on film and see what's going on. Uh, because Springtown, I do know that they have a really good program out there. You know, everybody's doing what Eastern Hill is stepping up. Western Hills is doing good. And then I've only heard things about Decatur. I got to check those guys out also. So I'll get used to the 4A ball here soon. Uh, just got to get on the field and get things rolling. Um, I think you guys was a 17 district. Absolutely. We got 17 district. We have six district games. Okay. Um, and then what's kind of your non-district schedule? Who's week one? Uh, week one, we have Dallas Brian Adams. Week two, we have Dallas Hudson's. Week three, we have Frisco Panther Creek. Week four, we have Brock. So that does uh, last two games of non-district. Uh, definitely a, a good test. Yeah, uh, it goes as follows. We got we start off with Springtown, then we have Carter Riverside, then Eastern Hills, then Diamond Hill, then Western Hills, and then Decatur. You know, we, we're going to look to be in a good position. Uh, hopefully, you know, we stay healthy. We stay healthy. We we play ball the way as well as we play. We continue to put kids in the right position. Uh, we should be in a pretty good seat once it comes to trying to finalize playoffs and all the above. That that's definitely the goal. Uh, achieving one of those four playoff spots. Now, I think we can make that happen. I just want to get your thoughts. Uh, obviously, you're not in this district anymore, but, uh, you know, Northside, a lot of those schools, the uh, the Fort Worth schools, they join together. 
um, in 5 AD1, I believe, with with mm -hmm. God and Pascal dropping down. Um, you know, what's your take on that, having all Fort Worth ISD schools in one district, sort of um, the way Dallas ISD has done? It would allow a Fort Worth ISD true champion. You know, for years, we've tried to have a Fort Worth ISD district champ, but we weren't able to because either you had Colleyville, you had Grapevine, or you had uh, Richland or whoever else may be. All the way back to the early years, the teams where I was coaching, and we had Birdville yeah. in our district. It's, you know, even though we have Chisholm Trail and, uh, well, they have Chisholm Trail and Saginaw in that district, I fully expect either Heights or Pasco to come out and be district champ um, in that situation, which would be great for the city of Fort Worth having a true fourth ISD football champion. You know, 4A, we can have that. It's going to take some work because we do have some really good programs that we got to get taken care of and beat those guys. But then again, that's another opportunity to have a forward to ISD district champ, which is going to make us look better as a district football-wide overall. Uh, so when you came in, the was the schedule already set for you? Yeah, pretty much. We had a game that we had to take care of. Uh, we had to get some locations fixed and all of the above. Um, but everything is set. Everything's already ready to rock and roll. It's been posted. The boys know about it. The community knows about it. It's on our Raider resource page that we use there at Southwest High School, and you can find everything you need on the Raider resource page. So everything's already listed. We're finalized. Uh, so how quickly uh, will we see a Southwest Northside matchup? Uh, man. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's, uh, that, that's, that's some years down the road. And actually, we were set to scrimmage uh, this year. But while I was at Northside, I had to pull out of the scrimmage and go another direction due to some logistics and those types of things. So maybe next realignment, who knows? It all depends on who the head coach is and where we are as programs. You know, I don't I don't know if that's something, honestly, that the community or even myself might be ready for just yet. It might be too much feelings involved, man. Let's give them some time. Let's get everybody time to transition and, and move yeah. forward. Yeah. It definitely would be a, a special night, you know. I think uh, it, it, you'll be honored and recognized for what you did. I don't know, man. I hope so. But, you know, it, I'll try to make it happen. You know, I just need to get my feet settled in stone here, man, and get things rolling and let those guys get it all figured out. You know, Michael Conley is now the uh, the interim head coach over there now. So I'm looking forward to those guys doing some good things. And I'll stay in contact with them, so I wish the best for them. Yeah, we might have to get you one of those uh, video tributes, like Dirt Cat or something like that. Brian, it takes a lot to get me on camera. The only reason why I'm on camera is because of you, man. That's how. If it wasn't you, I wouldn't be on here right now. Awesome. Um, of course, every time I see you or talk to you, I always got asked about uh, some some former players from Northside. You know, uh, notably uh, Mr. Uh, Dewan Lofton. Yeah. Uh, still keep in touch with him. We talk all the time. We talked a couple of days ago. He was settling down at Oklahoma State where he's he transferred for his grad year. He did graduate from Virginia Tech in three years, and now he's getting his master's, and he's doing a phenomenal job, man. Day one just continues to be a great young man. He's always made some great decisions, and he's already doing some good things on the football field as well. So day one will always go in the right direction. He's a great kid, or a great young man, I should say. He's about 21, 22 years old now. Time flies, man. Absolutely. Um, and then, of course, you know, you, you being a uh, former TCU player, I uh, always mm -hmm. like to talk some TCU, but, um, you know, you still, um, you're still real close with, with TCU football program and, and just kind of watching them as much as you can during the season. Yeah, I, I watch as much as I can during the season or, you know, there's guys up there that I still talk to. But, Brian, I'll be honest with you. Once our football season comes around high school, I shut everything down, man. I don't I don't watch a lot of football outside of what we're doing. I'm on a real tight schedule. I try to invest all my time into the program. And then, you know, I have a, a, I got a wife and three kids, man. I got to spread time out with them also. Uh, but remember, it's either November 8th or 9th. Oklahoma State is coming down to play TCU. So there's a definite that I will be there. I'll be in all black with day one's name on the back. I'm not wearing any orange, though. <laughs> awesome. yeah. um, and I'll just kind of get you on this. But, um, yeah, just what does what does the next um, month or two before we really officially get underway, what's, what's it look like? A lot of 
again, summer workouts and uh, strength and conditioning? Well, we have month, we have summer conditioning uh, 9 through 11 a.m., Monday through Thursday. Friday is optional if you want to come get some extra work in. We're in the seven-on-seven -seven league with Crowley, North Crowley, Arlington Bowie, Burlington Centennial, Dunbar, uh, Chisholm Trail, Everman, Diamond Hill, Burleson, Mansfield Summit, ODY. There, there's a, I'm looking at the, the calendar right here that I have. There's a lot of teams. We'll go over there on Tuesdays. So we'll go over tomorrow for the second week, and we'll have two more weeks following. And once we're done with that, once we get to July, we're going to get all those guys that are out of summer uh, summer school and start tutorials. And we're going to look to start building our team. We're going to start doing a lot more team organized things when it comes to offense and defense and installations and stuff like that. So that when we get to the fall, we're ready to rock and roll. But the one thing about, you know, myself and my coaching staff that I have, I have a great coaching staff, by the way, we're planned out. We already know what we're doing, when we're doing it, and how we're doing it. We're just ready to get all the troops back so we can start rolling. Um, it was unfortunate that I got to Southwest High School so late in the year, the last week of school. I was hoping it was going to be two to three weeks prior. But everything's working out fine, Brian. Every day is a good day. We get guys out every day. We got guys working hard every day. And you can see the work ethic is paying off. You know, at first, they were having a, a difficult time getting used to the up-tempo style of workouts I like to run. And now these guys are all used to it and they're rolling through with no issues. Um, so the coaching staff is good. The players are good. And having daily meetings with the administrative team, uh, going around and meeting principals, all the above, it's, it's really just really just getting everything to where it needs to be, to where I can operate and to where my coaches and kids can operate so we can all be on the same page. Same goal, man. Same goal, win at everything we do. Awesome. Uh, you know, always, always a pleasure talking to you. You do a great job. I know uh, Southwest is is lucky to have you, and I no doubt there's, you're going to get a lot of wins there. I appreciate it. That's the goal. You know, we get everybody bought in. We'll be just fine. Now, now I've gone to the Raiders. You know, I went from frog to here to now I'm here, man. So I'm getting used to that. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, uh, enjoy the summer. Get better every day, and uh, good luck this season. As always, Brian, thank you for having me. All right, that's Joseph Turner, head football coach, Fort Worth Southwest. Um, thanks for tuning in. This is Game Time with the Goss, powered by Grey Wolf Promotions. Check them out for some great fan gear, uh, www.graywolfpromotions.com. I'm Brian Gossett with GM Sports Media, and uh, we'll see you next time.